What's going on my dream team? Dave coming back at you and if you have not watched any of our 2019 Leaf Rookie Retro case number four, stop this video right now, go back, watch those 10 videos. Um, they're each like two, three minutes long, real quick and come back. This is our recap video, so don't, don't wanna spoil on anything for you. So in this video, we're gonna go through each of the cards, actually have them racked and stacked based off of value as of today, February 24th. I know you're seeing this in April, so this is gonna be subject to change, but I've liked doing this with these recaps, um, mainly to kind of show you, did we get our value back or not? So uh, full disclosure, this co case cost uh, $1,870. I know a big chunk of change. Um, however, I, had, I did sell a really big Mahomes on uh, the AFC Championship game. I've been using those funds to fund the other cases. I've been selling cards from the other cases. So um, there was plenty of PayPal to go around to go after this stuff. Um, it's been pretty fun. So here are our Leaf exclusive cards. These are pretty much nothing exciting, junk. I know this one's like number 10. Um, he had a really big summer league haven't really done much this season so far the best card out of this is probably either the haskins which maybe gets 15 bucks and the, the spence which maybe 10 15 dollar card so these are really just kind of throwing stuff nothing super exciting there these two will probably go on ebay see if there's any uh any interest all right first up and again we're going worst to best um i know absolutely nothing about hockey but just a little bit of research Dolan young guns gem mint 10 right now as of today this is going for 45 bucks um so when you consider that we paid on average 187 dollars a box a uh, big loss there right now what i have not done is i have not looked to do any research on him yet see if he's injured out for the year um you know or just not playing well but i know he is a defenseman and they always don't sell as well as some of the sexier positions. So um, 45 bucks and who knows uh, what we'll end up doing with, with that one, if that's a sit on it or if it's just sell and cut our losses. Next up, we have Aaron Rodgers from 2005, Tops Turkey Red. Uh, when we revealed this, seeing that border, I was kind of hoping it was 2001 Tops Breeze, um, but it's an Aaron Rodgers. This card right now is doing on average, and the prices are kind of all over the place a little bit, but on average, 70 bucks. So again, kind of took a loss, but we're gonna take a loss on, on these first handful of cards here for sure. Um, but um, it is also the off season. They didn't make the, the playoffs. So this may be one that we sit on. I, I guess they made playoffs. They didn't make the Super Bowl. Um, maybe this is one that we sit on till next fall when there's a bit more hype. I've got a bunch of his graded stuff that I'm, I'm sitting on. So I would probably rather wait to the fall and, and see if he starts hot, sell it for 150 than sell it now for, for 70. So this one will just go um, hang out. It's not going onto the eBay store um, or Instagram store, which by the way, um, if you guys ever wanna check out my eBay, anything like that, Dave's card's 32. Um, always willing to do something better than, than what eBay states, uh, especially since you have to pay taxes on eBay purchases. So if a card's listed on there for 100 bucks, you know, depending on your state, you're paying 105, $110 total. Um, generally, I'll, I'll do something slightly less than, than eBay, and that saves you on taxes, the total dollars you gotta pay. Next up, we got the 81 Tops Montana. Now with a lot of these vintage cards, um, centering's a big thing with, with a lot of these, but um, this is where, you know, when Elite Code 3 talks about you buy the card, not the grade, um, that really comes into play with uh, the vintage stuff. You know, poor center end on the back, definitely probably what contributed to the seven. The front looks like an eight um, overall. Uh, again, a little thin, but I think it looks, definitely looks thinner on the back. So this one right now, um, based off the, the center end of the condition, I call it like a $75 card. Um, really not a ton of value to go up unless somebody values it as, as something higher. So this will be one that goes on the eBay page right away. Uh, and, and frankly, it's probably sold by the time this video comes out. And that's kind of the thing with some of these cards. Some of them are sit, some of them are just sell right now. All right, next up, we got 68 Tops, Johnny Bench, rookie. Um, 
And this is one that it's kind of all over the place. And a lot of it depends on the, the centering. And again, what somebody values on it. Um, one of the nice things is that does have the new lighthouse. So it's not an older car that you have to worry about some of the trim gate stuff because this was graded within the, the last year or so. Um, again, prices are all over the place. It is an older card. Um, I've got it uh, for the purposes of this video at about a hundred bucks. Um, and again, it looked really good overall. It was really tough to see, but I think one of these corners at one point looked like maybe the slight discoloration or, or something there, which probably what knocked it down to a six because um, overall that centering is not as bad as some of the other ones I've seen. So again, 100 bucks. Next up, Bryce Harper, 2010 Bowman. Um, this case is all beat to crap. It kind of sucks because um, I don't really have a need to send things in because I don't grade with, with Beckett, but uh, I might have to consider to get this case. I mean, it's got a big old scratch there on it too. Um, I do have a couple other Beckett cards that I've picked up over the years that need to go in, so maybe I'll just send them all in for a recase. But uh, this right now, based off the subs, um, it's not a true gem mint. It's going for about 100 bucks. This would be one that I'll probably list in the store for just something high, like 199 or best offer, in case he starts off really hot and see if I get some offers in like the 150 range or something. Someone trying to, to jump on, on things. Uh, not autographed. This would have been a monster if it was autographed. But I think his this year in Philadelphia is going to be a lot better than his first. Um, next up, the first thick card I've ever owned from PSA. Uh, was did not know what to expect when I pulled this, but 2017 Chronicles Tatum. I pulled this at a perfect time. Tatum stuff is taking off and skyrocketing. Again, today is February 24th. Uh, just his stuff went up like 50%, his Prism Silvers, over the course of the weekend. The game against the Lakers was, was huge. Um, there, there aren't any graded ones. There's really tough comps. I got this at about 125 right now, just based off what some raw cards are going. Generally, PSA 9s will go somewhere around the, the raw. For graded stuff, you know, maybe they go a little bit higher just because they are so tough to grade. I mean, anytime you get thick cards, especially from Panini, you can get chipping or um, whatnot on the corners. The back of this looks really good. But that top corner there, a little bit of white on there. Otherwise, this might have, at the time, had a chance at a 10 because there's pretty much no chipping or whitening on the back, at least from what you can tell with the based off the reflections. So Tatum, 9. Like I said, I had this at 125. I'll probably list it just for, for kicks, like 199 or, or 249. Probably 249, knowing the Celtics can make a playoff run and just sit on it for a couple months and see how it goes. Next up, we got the Atom Silver, Atom, Aiton Silver, um, Gem Mint 10. Would've been awesome if this was Trey Young, uh, but uh, right now, going for 150. Uh, similar to my Jaron Jackson Jr. I got from the last case, I'll probably list this for 249 or best offer in hopes that he gets really hot and his stuff starts shooting up and uh, get something other than current market because I'm fine with sitting on the stuff for a, a, a few weeks, a couple of months, but probably want to sell this one before the end of the season. Uh, given what I spent on the case, I don't want to sit on all of these super long. I'm fine with certain ones like Rogers sitting on them next year, uh, but some of them will want to recoup some of those costs back because it puts more content in the channel. All right, coming to the next big three cards here. Next up is the, the Victor Robles. Um, I'm a huge believer in this guy. I think he's going to have a really good year. This will be one that I'm, I'm not going to list right away unless he has a really, really hot spring or a really, really hot um, start to the year. Otherwise, I do have a BGS 9.5. If he starts hot, I will probably list the BGS 9.5 first, see how that goes, kind of watch the market, and then figure out what I want to do with, with this one. Uh, the PSA 10s sell better than the, the BGS 9.5s, which is why I, I say that. So. Right now, this is going for 150, but there's a lot of um, just cards listed at, I think that lowest is, is 250. So folks are expecting a lot and kind of getting ready for spring training and um, some of the, and the early season. Not the refractor version, that would have been nice. All right, next two, some awesome cards. 
2017 Bowman Chrome Draft Royce Lewis, the number one overall pick from 2017 for my hometown Twinkies. Um, not a true gem mint because we do have a nine on the centering. Right now, this card appears to be going for about 225, um, and the the sold prices have actually been going up over the last couple months. And that's really because I think folks are expecting him to potentially get a September call up this year. Um, let's start taking off. He had a huge fall league season, but buyer beware. Shouldn't be saying this. <laughs> buyer beware. I'm trying to sell it. Uh, buyer beware. Um, Arizona fall league is definitely known to be very favorable to to hitters. So, um, Royce Lewis again. Uh, this is one that I will probably list pretty high, to be honest with you, based off everything I know and have experienced with the Twins. They don't do a good job of getting superstars from homegrown talent, and uh, I'm a little little concerned, but uh, this would also be a good trade chip for now that I'm back in Minnesota, uh, trading at local shows and stuff, especially if he starts hot. This, this one I may just you know, post for something stupid and uh, see if I get some offers on it based off how the year goes. And then lastly, very first card of the case, 96 Bowman's best rookie, Kobe Bryant. Uh, last summer when this product came out, probably not a great card. Now it's the best card out of this case. So um, generally, it's cards kind of all over the place. Um, on average, doing about 250. Uh, this is one I'll probably list for 299 or best offer right away. Uh, he'll officially get his Hall induction coming up in April or the announcement. And we may see a little bump then, but I don't know that this this card in particular has a huge market to grow like his tops or his tops chrome does. So overall with these 10 cards, calling all that in, um, I've got our total total value hit there, not including these guys, at about um, 1290, so just a hair under 1300. Uh, this would rank in terms of the other four case breaks um, are, as our worst case. And it also happened to be the most expensive case we, we purchased. Um, our second worst case was case number two, um, but uh, and at coming in at 1310. But that one had the Vlad rookie in it, which has a chance to go up. That one has Robles um, and some other, other stuff in there and LeBron upper deck, that one's gonna be, I think at the time we said 350, that one's probably a $500 card now in February. I'm hoping if they win the championship, that could be a thousand dollar card. So um, lots of potential there. And again, for this one, what's really gonna kind of carry this are these bottom five cards. Tatum keeps staying hot, Aiton heats up, Robles does what i um, looking forward to him doing, Royce Lewis, and uh, the, the Kobe's gonna be pretty consistent. So here's where the value is, here's what's really gonna carry this case and determine over the course of the next handful of months, do we, do we break even or do we end up uh, kind of losing some, some money here? So, but this has been really fun. I've, I've got a spreadsheet that I'm kind of tracking. There's computer. Um, all of, all four cases I'm tracking, you know, uh, are we making our money back on each case? Um, and are we making our money back based off the, the three cases, four cases, um, excluding eBay fees, all that fun stuff. We'll see if it's worth sharing at some point in, in the future. Maybe, maybe not, but it's kind of fun to, to mess around with. So as always, thanks for checking out the channel. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, and we will catch you next time. See ya.